Well, hey there, I'm Brad Caston, and welcome back to another acrylic pouring tips and tricks video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about my favorite mixing cup. It doesn't sound like a great big deal, like it's a cup, but this is a very special cup for quite a few reasons. Uh, they're easy to find. I love them and I use them all the time. Now you could use pretty much any cup you want for mixing up your acrylic paint and your pouring medium, but this is the cup I use almost exclusively. I love this cup. And this is a five and a half ounce, uh, it's called souffle cup. And it, you can buy lids for them, which is fantastic. And uh, I usually mix about either two ounces of paint or four ounces of paint in one of these cups. Uh, and it just seems to be just the right size for most of the paintings I do. Uh, I usually have about between four and six colors on average. So this gives me enough paint uh, without having a ton of paint that's left over. But uh, this just seems to be the perfect size for me. And one great thing about this cup, maybe the best thing, is it's made out of uh, polypropylene, is what the plastic's called. And there's a little recycling logo on the bottom, and I put it right here for you to see. It's a number five. That means polypropylene. And the great thing about polypropylene, the paint doesn't stick to it. It comes right off. And I'm gonna demo that in just a second. But first I wanna show you uh, what the packaging looks like for these cups. You can find them pretty much anywhere. Uh, this one right here is, I got this at Walmart, and here's a closer look at it. Uh, this is like a snack cups with lids. This is like 25 pieces, and it comes with 25 cups, or maybe, uh, I don't know how many cups, I think 25. Um, but it comes with the lids in this package. And this is maybe $3 for this, uh, which is really great. I've also seen packages just like this in the grocery store, which is really awesome. That's so convenient. I'm always walking up and down the aisles and there they are hanging right there. And I'm, I want to buy them every single time I see them, but I have plenty of them. And I'm gonna explain to you another great thing about these cups. They're reusable. I don't know if I mentioned that, but they are reusable, which is awesome. So this is one uh, type of package. This is the one I get most often, and I've only gotten this a few times because I reuse these uh, quite a bit. And this is yours, five and a half ounce souffle cup plastic. I get these at a store called Smart and Final. Uh, it's in California, all over the place. Um, if you're other, other places in the US uh, and you don't have a Smart and Final, uh, any kind of a restaurant supply, um, store should have cups like this. Um, but these are great. This is 125 cups in here, and I use these for all my classes as well. Um, but the, this is about $5, I think, or $6. Uh, you have to buy the lids separately, and they also come in a big pack of 125. Um, but this will get you through a whole lot of paintings, guaranteed. So let me show you why these cups are so awesome. So first of all, uh, it's five and a half ounces. Um, I usually mix up about half of it for you know two ounces or for four ounces of paint. And it, when I'm done, I just put a lid on. And here's uh, some some leftover paint I had. I actually mixed several colors in this cup and then just stirred them all together. And here's a lid, and I just pop the lid on. And then I just put it on my shelf where I have all my leftover paints. Here's a shot of that. And so I got quite a few paints up there right now. And by the way, that G that you see on some of the cups, that means there's a glue medium in that paint. So I try to keep my glue uh, paint separate from my Floetrol paints. Also, you can't really see it, but if there's any silicone, I put an S on the lid on the paint, so I know there's silicone in there. Anyway, so that's one thing. You can put lids on, and this paint will stay fresh for quite a long time. I've had paint on my shelf for months, and it's just fine. Another tip, which is a really good one, and here's another leftover silver, I think. If you have a little squirt bottle uh, with water, just give a little squirt in your cup before you put the lid on, and stick it on your shelf or wherever, 
that will keep it uh, a nice damp atmosphere in there. It'll keep it fresh longer. And uh, also it'll keep the paint from drying on the edges a little a little bit, it won't dry so much. But uh, this will keep the paint nice and fresh for a really long time. Okay, so, and, and here's another one. This one I'll show you quick. Here's just a bunch of colors I, I dumped in there. Um, oftentimes I'll scrape the leftover paint that gets tilted off my canvases and I'll just put it all in a cup. And I'll often use the um, cup I use to, the, the layered cup that I use to pour my paint out of. I'll just put it all in there. I haven't really mixed this together yet, but you get a wonderful array of interesting gray colors and I love the leftover paints. They make just amazing colors that you could never come up with otherwise. A lot of people call them mud, but I love them because mud is beautiful. So anyway, that's uh, another leftover paint. Now let me show you this. So here is uh, a cup I had and I, it was black and I put a stick in there and also I have a lot of these uh, wooden sticks that I use. Here I'll show you these. I have a jar full of them. These are old stir sticks. I just kind of keep them. I don't really use wood anymore. I'll show you uh, the stir sticks I do use in another video. But anyway, I use those leftover ones. When I pour all the paint out of my cup, I just throw a stick in there and there's always a little paint on the bottom. You can see down there, it's on the bottom and the, it just dries on the stick. And now the amazing thing is if you just pull the stick out, most of the paint comes right out of the cup. And right here I had a whole bunch of, you know, very fine, thin paint on there. And you can go scrape around on it and it'll come off. But the other thing I like to do is I'll have a big bucket uh, and I just put some warm water in there and I dump a whole bunch of used cups in. After a few minutes, you can take a sponge and just kind of, the paint will just come right off. So you can reuse these cups, which is great. And right here I have a whole, this is a stack that I have to throw in my bucket, but uh, you can use these cups over and over again. Also, I have, I reuse my lids uh, quite, a, quite a bit. Um, these are not made with polypropylene. This is a number one plastic. It says PET on it. I'm not exactly sure what that is. The paint does not want to come off of these as easily. But it doesn't really matter. Even if there's a little paint in there, I just stick it on anyway because it doesn't really come off on the lid. So these are also reusable up to a point. Sometimes they get so gunked up you have to get a new one. But uh, you can use them quite a bit over and over. So that's one uh, great thing about these cups. You can reuse them and then I have my this leftover paint will just pop off. My stick goes back in my little jar and then I'll throw this in my container to get cleaned and it's off to, uh, you know, another painting. Here's another one. This is the same thing, an old stick that I had and I just threw it in the empty paint cup and then if you just pull it, it just, most of the paint comes right off, which is really cool. So look for, whenever you're looking for cups, uh, look for that number five. Here's the logo again. I think I'll put it right over here. Okay. So you can see that, that look for that number five recycling. That means it's polypropylene and the paint will come off pretty darn easy. So let me put this in my little jar. Now, another thing that you can use. If let's say you're mixing up a whole lot of paint. I've recently found these. This is like a drinking cup and I'll show you here. It's a closer look. This is an eight ounce uh, cup, but here it is right here. Here's the number five, the polypropylene logo. And they make these in a bunch of different sizes. I found these also at Smart and Final. So whenever you're looking for plastic cups, check out and see if they have that number five and they should be printed on the bottom of all the plastic cups. Um, I think you have to print it on there. I'm not sure if they'll be on the packaging of every single cup, but uh, these are great. Number eight, eight fluid ounces is pretty, that's quite a bit of paint. And if I'm really mixing up a ton of paint, like, you know, a lot, like I need, uh, you know, 16 ounces of each color, then I'll probably just go with Unless I can find a big, like number uh, polypropylene type cup, I usually go with just a large drinking cup 
And those, I don't think, are made out of polypropylene. Here's one that I had on my table. Here's a pretty big one. This is also number one. So this one is not great. The paint does not like to come off of it. Um, so I'm gonna try to replace my like really big cups with more of the polypropylene ones. But uh, I don't really mix up tons of paint in this much anyway. So, but if I was to use these, uh, you could also get a cover for this. This is a drinking cup and it comes with a cover for like a straw. And that works great to save your paint. Um, and sometimes I'd put tape over the straw hole uh, just to keep air from getting in there. But these also work really good. So anyway, that's kind of the cup I use and love for mixing up all my paints. Um, they are recyclable. You can reuse them over and over. The paint comes right off of them. You can get lids for them, which is so cool. They're available all over the place. Uh, you can probably find them in your grocery store. And if you want a ton of them, you can go to Spartan Final. Um, and they just work awesome for me. And they're just about the right size for almost all the paintings that I do. So anyway, thanks so much for watching this tips and tricks video. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about the stir sticks that I use to mix up my paint. And I've gone through lots of different types of stir sticks, from the wooden sticks to other things to an electric one, but I'm gonna share my favorite one coming up in the next video. So I will see you then. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.